Hi there, students. I'm sure it really niggles you when you make small, stupid mistakes in English. They're very easy to make. OK, to niggle is something that annoys you, it irks you, it worries you. You can also use to niggle to mean to complain about small, unimportant things, to criticise about petty matters, OK? So, I don't know, he's always niggling me because he doesn't like the way I dress, yeah? The doctor is always niggling me to lose weight. Maybe that's not so petty, though. OK? And also, you could have a noun, OK? Um, this is one of my niggles. This is one of the little things that annoys me. So notice, when something niggles you, it's not serious, it's not a big thing, it's just a little thing, yeah? A small, petty, unimportant matter, it irks you, yeah? OK? So, to niggle, to either to criticise about unimportant things, OK? He's always niggling me because I'm five minutes late for work. Come on, five minutes? OK? It also has the idea of persistence, OK? So, if something niggles, it's not something that just happens once and it pees you off once, OK? It's something that's more continuous as well, OK? So, it always niggles me when I make mistakes with my verbs in Spanish, because I know the right answer, OK? So, to niggle. Apparently, this word comes from Scandinavia, it's of Scandinavian origin. Um, apparently, when it came into the English language in the 17th century, it used to mean to do things ineffectually, to not be effective, to be rather pathetic. And it's come down now to mean, OK, a petty annoyance, yeah? Something that worries you, it worries at you, OK? So, make sure you get your English absolutely right, and then it needn't niggle you, particularly with the small mistakes. Anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To niggle, a niggle.